Okay, first I want to thank Anna and Cheryl for uh, having this uh, evening and also to thank them for having me. Uh, I didn't know that I have to eat so early, but that's okay. I manage. Uh, I chose four short poems that are uh, probably the light ones for my collection. So I'll start with one that's called Lesson in Irony. A lesson in irony. We want to linger on, straightening up the, wrinkle, the wrinkles of our past, as if the iron we use doesn't scorch the silky fabric. We pay attention to tiny details of how and when, and we forget the why and who, as if journalistic reportage can render genuine insight. We cheat ourselves into believing that this is all there is, as if the sun, the moon, and the earth can sustain us through the deepest green of the forest. We endure sleepless nights in which gray shadows tint the boundaries of our mundane history, as if other shades can paint days to come. We believe in an afterlife where reward and strict punishment divide our flimsy value system, as if heaven and hell are communal bus houses. We become more poetic as we age, soft and ripe like fruit in the Garden of Eden, forbidden, as if all those metaphors and similes matter. We cling to our earned treasures, accumulation of perceived merit and so-called slavery, as if the Egyptian pharaohs are returning to collect. Second one is names I can't pronounce. I want a Latin name, like Dante Gabriel Rossetti, Federico Garcia Lorca, or Julia Alvarez. I want a romantic name, like Emily Bronte, Walter de la Mer, or Jacques Prévert. I want to write them to them daily, reflections of thought, thought-provoking songs, songs of love and misgivings, misgivings of lonely life, life on the edge, edge my words, words of lamentations, lamentations, that's it, lamentations. The third one is from my book. This, my, this is my book, small book. It's called When the Music's Playing. When I hear the music playing, I feel I can fly to the Himalayas, join an order of monks, and meditate night and day. When I hear the music playing, I can picture babies talk and giggle in the heart of my soul, searching for lyrics. When I hear the music playing, I feel I can love my fellow humans despite their obnoxious and annoying flaws. When I hear the music playing, I feel I can be at peace as the promised beacon shines and prevails. And the last one is the, probably the funniest one. It's called Life is Short, Wear Your Party Pants. This is a quote from uh, Loretta LaRoche. Ten truths say it all. Who said life is long? Perhaps the ones who drag along. 
but life is just this, says Loretta. In most cases, when considered, it is what it, what it is. Here is what you need to do. Laugh it up, put a spin on it, just show up, join the party. Whose party? Elvis's? Do you really need pants for that party? Do you really need to show up? Teleparticipation will do. The fun goes on regardless. Tulips bloom on the banks of the Rideau Canal. Flotillas are adorned with small waving children who can party, chuckle, and dress up without command. Thank you.